The Godfather was the highest grossing movie of 1972. For a while it was the highest grossing movie of all time. It revitalised and launched careers, was nominated for 10 Oscars and won three. Two generations later it is still considered one of the greatest movies of all time. So why? Many extol the symbology of values, the real portrayal of mafia, the acting, the dialogue, cinematography. There are plenty of movies with these qualities long since forgotten. What has made The Godfather so compelling to a wide audience for so long? The secret shouldn't be so shocking. It's good storytelling. Starting with the original Mario Puzo book and then the Mario Puzo screenplay, which makes The Godfather the kind of movie we should be looking at in the writer's room. This video will break down the movie to its core structure, character and story beats. The goal is to expand our understanding of great story so we can weave the learned knowledge into our own projects. Let's go. Act 1. Opening scene. The Godfather opens with the words, I believe in America, in a darkly lit room that might be imagined as hell. These words define the Corleone family's arc as they fight for survival in the changing world of American crime. In Don Vito we see a man with power over justice, beyond the law, a man with power over life and death. Decisions he makes in this very room. Vito is no devil though. We see a man who cares greatly about respect, family, friendship, his Sicilian values. Vito firmly believes his family is a business. They are not murderers. The opening scene defines the starting point of the movie. The final scene set in the same room depicts Michael Corleone in Vito's place, the family Don. To survive the American dream, they have become murderers without values. World building. The world of the Godfather expands from Vito's dark office to a post-World War II American wedding, although it is difficult to place the time. The fashion and dress of the characters are largely timeless. It's only the technology around the people that ties them to 1940s America. It is only Michael's arrival as a returning war veteran that sets the story world and time frame as post-1945 America. As the camera roves around the wedding, we continue to figure out the world. We witness a family with wealth enough to stage a big wedding, to own such a grand house, with influence enough to have a celebrity sing at the wedding a family profiled enough to warrant the attention of the FBI and of reporters, with guests powerful enough to have cameras destroyed and nobody care. The gates and high walls define the family home as the main arena for the Corleone family, an enclave from American culture. As such, the house will repeatedly be depicted as a fortress under siege. The wedding lasts 25 minutes. By the end, we know exactly the world we are in. Our perception of the world and the Corleone family is expanded through Tom's visit to the Waltz movie studio. We see the kind of influence the family wield even among the rich and influential. We also see what they will do if they don't get their way. The world building and set up close at 34 minutes as Vito and Salozo debate the emerging drugs industry. Vito's refusal to join the drugs trade is the cause for the story change. This scene is also where the story lie is defined. The lie. The Corleone family with other mafia families have gained wealth and power through bootlegging, illegal gambling, loan sharking and prostitution. These are the industries of the Sicilian mafia. Post-World War II American crime is about to change. The new industry is drugs. The Americanization of crime away from its Sicilian roots is the lie in The Godfather, symbolised by the wider mafia acceptance of the drugs industry. Characters Vito Vito is the leader of the family. He has brought them to success and wealth and their position of influence. He is a successful businessman. He is the king who has fought hard for his land. He is ruthless, compassionate and driven by a moral standard. He values family, friendship and loyalty above all things. The world is changing around Vito. American crime has no tie for his old world values. Vito will need to relinquish his throne to one of his sons if the family is to survive. He has groomed Sonny to take on the role of Don. Michael he has groomed to live a successful life outside of the family business. Michael Michael Corleone is a great example of a negative character arc. He starts a story as a war hero, destined for a future in legitimate business or even government. Michael is naive in the world of crime. He tells his American girlfriend at 19 minutes this is his family, but he will not play any part in the family business. 
The statement not only defines his character arc, but states the dramatic narrative central to the whole story. The sincerity and naivety with which Michael makes the statement is his character flaw. In a positive arc, the flaw is usually a failing the hero will overcome to a positive conclusion. For a negative arc, the flaw can be a positive trait the events of the story will turn bad. In this case, the story lie, American crime, will consume him. Sonny Although Sonny is the B story facilitating Michael's transition from family outsider to heading the family, he is also a brilliant example of the detail given to every character's real and individual purpose in contrast to Michael. If a good leader can be defined as someone in charge of their personal vices, Sonny demonstrates from the very beginning he is not the heir Vito hopes him to be. Sonny fails the challenge of leadership at almost every turn, but he never feels like a plot device because his vices define his character, which makes him relatable to an audience. His character starts flawed, and if this had been a lesser story, he might have gone on to overcome his flaws and return the Corleone family to previous glories. Because Sonny feels very much like the hero of any other movie, his death, set up through the predictability of his vices, has a strong emotional impact on the audience. It is the emotional equivalent of killing the hero halfway through Act 2. Sonny works because he is set in contrast to Michael, and Michael's arc is negative. They are not both competing for that positive arc. K. K is the least defined of all the characters. Through much of the wedding, K is a device to actively involve the audience at the wedding. We are K, experiencing this alien family dynamic firsthand. K is also used to symbolise America at two levels. She is symbolic of the American culture that exists around the Corleone family. The symbolism of America is always visually demonstrated by K's fashion and colour choices. K also symbolises the America the Corleones must become. The family's reluctance to change is demonstrated through the distance it maintains between the house and Kay. Kay's marriage to Michael and subsequent acceptance in the house is symbolic of the family's American transition. Change. Every change has a cause and then an effect. Once the opening world of Sicilian Mafia has been painted, the change is introduced at 42 minutes. The cause for this change is Vito's refusal to join the emerging narcotics industry. The wider mafia see this refusal as weak, unwilling to move with the changing face of American crime. They want the Corleones and their Sicilian values out. They want the family's territories, revenues and importantly the law and judiciary contacts on Vito's payroll. The change is the assassination attempt on Vito by Solozo. It is the first turning point of the story. The story effect of the change is to trigger Michael's arc, from outsider to inclusion in the family business. Inciting Incident The section after the change at 42 minutes starts by defining Michael's distance from the family business. As Sonny and Tom discuss strategy, Michael is assigned the role of receptionist by Sonny. When Michael later goes to meet Kay, we learn he is safe because the other Mafia families consider him a civilian. From outsider, Michael begins transitioning towards the story at 58 minutes when he leaves Kay, telling her he doesn't know when he'll see her again. Leaving Kay as Michael symbolically distancing himself from American life and aligning with his Sicilian family. It is Michael accepting the new world created by the change. The hospital scene is the crisis of Act 1. At 63 minutes, Michael willingly dedicates himself to his father's protection. This is the inciting incident. He could call Sonny and wait for the family, but he doesn't. He hides his father and goes outside to protect him. We have no idea where his commitment will take him, but we are all now invested in the story. Act 2A. Break to 2. If Act 1 ends at the hospital crisis, the climax and resolution to Act 1 play at the start of Act 2, often termed the break to 2. Michael literally walks out of Act 1 through the hospital door into Act 2 at 64 minutes. We have seen Michael's ability to clear thinking under pressure, and now we will see his bravery. The climactic moment of the scene is the assassins pulling up in the car and Michael reaching for an imaginary gun. The resolution of Act 1's climax is Michael's standoff with Captain McCluskey. The story reiterates Michael's composure under pressure as he demands protection for his father and buys time for his family to arrive. We are reminded by a police officer Michael is a decorated war hero, a good guy. The Act 1 resolution also shows us the new path forward, with Captain McCluskey and Solozo now in direct opposition to Michael and the family. 
Fun and Games. The Fun and Games are short, largely due to the 64-minute runtime of Act 1. Michael is now active in the story. As a consequence, the Corleone family's enemies now include a police captain. At 67 minutes, we see the Corleone family preparing for war. We see the family home now portrayed as a medieval fortress, and if we didn't realise this, Clemenza states this as they re-enter the house. Without the considered influence of Vito, there is conflict about what to do next. To declare war or make peace. To invest in the drugs industry. Sonny and Tom want different things. The essential conflict is between business and personal desire, revenge. Michael sits in the middle, still unthoughtful like his father in this office, in the opening scene. Michael's desire, as always, is to protect their father. As Michael details his plan to kill both Captain McCluskey and Solozo, he is stepping into the woods. This is the 2A turning point. The family perception of Michael as an outsider is reinforced by the laughter his plan causes. His ability once more to clear thinking and strategy convinces them. As Michael says, it'll make a hell of a story. And it sure does. Michael's preparation for the execution of Solozo closes the fun and games. Midpoint. The midpoint sequence starts as Michael climbs into Solozo's car at 78 minutes. It ends when he walks out of the restaurant having executed Solozo and Captain McCluskey at 85 minutes. The scene is the crisis of Michael's character. The point of no return. The moment he takes control of his future. Michael's desire to protect his father has led him to this point. His commitment has consequences. He will never be the senator or business leader his father always hoped he would be. As Michael's arc is negative, he will now increasingly embrace the lie through 2B. Act 2B. Bad Guys. Immediately after the midpoint, the bad guys close in at 86 minutes and the war between the Corleones and the other Mafia families gets underway. Vito's return home at 88 minutes is symbolic for what he represents in the story, the unification of the family. Through all the scenes of Sonny and Michael, the family have been absent. We get another key beat at 90 minutes when Vito learns Michael killed Solozo. The news breaks Vito's heart for the loss of his son's future a loss his son willingly accepted to protect his father. The sequence at 91 minutes shows the state of the Corleone family under Sonny's leadership. Sonny is trying to kill all his enemies one at a time. Revenge is personal. Tom's opposition to Sonny continues the dramatic tension between the needs of the business and revenge. At 101 minutes, Sonny departs from an afternoon with his mistress, discovers his sister is badly beaten by her husband, and viciously beats her husband in public. Sonny's scenes define his brash character. We like him as the big brother with heart, but he is not a leader, a don. If we hadn't figured that out, these scenes are designed to show us. Having the audience work Sonny out helps audience engagement with his character. His actions feel real for who he is, and that's important because his death at the All Is Lost will facilitate Michael's ascension to don. If we didn't engage with Sonny, he'd feel like the plot device he ultimately is. The scenes in Sicily show Michael coming into his own. His negotiation with Apollonia's father at 98 minutes exactly mirror Vito's later negotiations with the Mafia families. In Sicily, there is still compassion in Michael. The culmination of the Sicilian sequence is his marriage to Apollonia. It shows Michael as a caring and compassionate husband to a wife at her most vulnerable. If Michael's murder of Solozo defined Michael's future, his time with Apollonia has so far seen him grow to a man with the potential to lead as his father has. Of course, this is drama, and we're only halfway through 2B. All is lost. Sonny's death at 112 minutes is the first true consequence of the Mafia War. It is the culmination of Sonny's story arc to facilitate Michael as the head of the Corleone family. We have been shown Connie is a little precious the kind of woman married to the wrong man who might get black eyes, who might then call her big brother for help, mix in the bruised ego of Carlo, Connie's husband, to a storyline of warring mafia families. Carlo deliberately beats Connie to draw Sonny's wrath so he can be isolated and murdered. It's a great storyline because it relies on playing the audience's perception of the characters learned throughout the story. If the Michael we have seen fall in love with Apollonia were to head the family, it could be a like-for-like -like succession from Vito. With Apollonia's death, all really is lost for Michael too. 
Sicily and Apollonia have been symbolic of Michael's journey through a compassionate worldview. This world has now been destroyed. In his following scenes convincing Kay to be his wife, we see a man embrace America without heart or compassion. Moment of truth. The final scene of 2B sets out all the pieces ahead of Act 3. Everything Michael has done and will do is for the love of his father. They're seen together at 140 minutes is Michael's statement of character, the moment we pause to remind ourselves who these characters are ahead of the tumultuous Act 3. Vito is still heartbroken Michael has to lead the family business. They're seen together as the last time we see any humanity in Michael. His civilian truth of the beginning has now become the American crime lie. The hope, the story truth of a family succession holding to Sicilian values has been vanquished. Act 3 Break to 3. The resolution of Act 2 and the break into Act 3 is the death of Vito at 144 minutes. His death is symbolic for the man he was. Vito did everything for the family because he loved his family. Crisis. The crisis of the story is Vito's funeral at 146 minutes, where Michael learns Tessio, the long standing Corleone capo, is setting him up to be assassinated. Vito warned Michael it would happen, and now Michael must face it alone. Without Vito as his mentor, Michael has no resource for compassion. There will be no Sicilian values for Michael. He will bring American corporate values to the fight. His new lie, his flaw, will be to pursue success at any cost. His fear is to fail his father's trust and memory. Climax The climax of The Godfather contrasts the Sicilian Catholic values of the Corleone family with Michael's American will to succeed. He will pay homage to the church for the conviction it gives those around him, but is not troubled by the rules of the church himself. Only the survival of the Corleone family business is important. Where Sonny tried killing key members from opposing mafia families one at a time, Michael shows his tactical ability by having them all killed at the same time. Climactic moment. Michael shows his total lack of compassion by convincing Carlo, Connie's husband, to confess he set up Sonny. Then after promising Carlo he would not be killed, he has him strangled in the car as they leave for the airport. Resolution The story Resolution does two things. It brings a close to the dramatic journey and shows us a new beginning. The journey of this story ends with Michael in his father's office, telling Kay he didn't murder Connie's husband, which is the answer she is desperate to hear. The scene closes the narrative of a young man who sat with Kay at Connie's wedding and told her the business was his family's not his. The resolution's new beginning is a family move to Vegas, the intention to become legal, but that's a story for another day. Putting it together. Three qualities stand out for the Godfather beyond all others. The first is the commitment to the story. There is no ego from the creators leaked into any scene. Every moment is devoted to telling Michael's story. Next is the use of visual storytelling and the involvement required of the audience to figure out what's happening. It's what makes the experience so absorbing. The story does tell, but it always gives us a reasonable amount of time to figure it out first. The last quality related to this breakdown is the detail and relevance given to the wide cast of characters. The texture of the extended cast is so layered, save for Kay who is only used to symbolise America. Each character is full of purpose within their own story, not just a prop or device to fill the background or make events happen. Because the characters are real, Michael's journey has a greater impact for the audience. I came across a story while researching The Godfather that Coppola, on planning the movie, decided it needed to be made as a saga. His first cut was 240 minutes, four hours. When the studio saw the cut, they made him cut it down to something suitable for the cinema. Sagas were for TV. The lesson here is that Coppola did. He changed the story from a saga to a crime drama. Rather than persist on the wider cast, he made it purely about Michael and Sonny. There is no ego evidenced in what we now have, no sign of the saga save for the texture of the characters. The Godfather is pure story, and that's why it has endured. He got his saga eventually because he made another two movies based on the success of the first. Thank you for watching this video, I loved making it. I create these breakdowns to build my knowledge of story as a writer. I hope you were entertained and I hope you learned something too. I'd really appreciate a like if you did. It would help get my videos to a wider audience. A new breakdown is released at the beginning of each month. Subscribe and click on that bell if you'd like to be notified when they're posted. 
If you'd like to discuss the breakdown or you have a book or movie you'd like considered for a breakdown, let me know below too. There are plenty more videos upcoming starting with Wall-E. Have fun!